Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss row level security or RLS in Tableau. Then we'll discuss different type of user functions available in Tableau and then by using this we'll discuss one use case of RLS. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. I'm using sample super data dataset as well as I've created one more dataset for the user's details that has the reason and user and the user email okay for user east and west are assigned user couple and for south and central we have aniket and for south we have prashama as well okay i have already connected both of the data set in our dashboard so let's go and now first let's create a view to understand how we can implement row level security for this, I am using reason and states, changing it to map and dragging sales into color. Okay. Now, whenever user Kapil will log in, he will see the data only just for east and west region. And whenever Aniket log in, it will see the data for south and central. And when Prasham log in, it will see the data only for south. Okay. So how we can implement it for this? let's create a calculated field and first rename it then colar field user and then colar function full name okay so what full name will do is whenever a user login into the system it will check the name of the user that it present in our database or not if yes then the user can see the data otherwise the user cannot see the data okay for this just click on okay now let's drag it into our filter and keep it to true okay now you can see the user couple demand is logged in so for this we have assigned east and west region so he can only see the data for west and east region okay and let me just sign out it from here now you can see there is a no user logged in into the system so we are not able to see the data okay to log in it again just connect it we can see as as the user couple logged in he can see the data for west and east okay we can implement the same by using user email as well for this let's replicate the view and remove it and now let's create a calculated field and rename it login by email and now call our field user email and then make it equal to username okay what this calculation will do is whenever a user login into the system it will go and check in our data if the username is exist in our database or not if it exists then the user can see the data otherwise not okay just click on okay now just drag the email into the filter and keep it true and you can see as couple can see the data only for east and west now you can see whenever we make it true he can see the data only just for west and east in a view okay there are other user functions as well so go here and click on users so as of now we have discussed full name and username now let's discuss is full name or is username okay first discuss is full name first rename it and call our function is full name and then call our user okay and just click on ok now replicate it remove this filter now let's drag his full name and make it to true ok we are getting same view with his full name as well so now you will ask what is the difference between his full name and full name ok let's discuss it with an example now let's say a user registered with the W has first letter is capital and other are small okay and in the database we are having every letter of the name is small so for this we need to change it to either upper or either lower okay to make it 
when we are going to apply our lower or upper hair it will not work because we can't use lower or upper with our boolean okay so for this we can just use our full name and here we can go with apply let's i want to make it to upper and apply upper on the both side and now you can say this calculation is valid okay if you are facing this type of scenario you can go with full name instead of is full name okay same thing is applied to is username as well okay if you have mismatch of the name in our database and as a tableau user login id so you can just go with username okay now let's discuss other functions as well so other function are is member of domain name and these are all related to tableau server we will discuss these functions in our upcoming tableau server series now let's come to user domain okay user domain and just call our function user domain so what user domain will do is it will return the domain of the current user when the user is signed into the tableau server okay now just click on okay and drag our reason and drag our user domain as well okay now you can see it is showing local because we have not connected to any tableau server and we are using our tableau public domain so that's why it is showing local okay this is how you can use all user functions in tableau and implement row level security okay let's discuss one use case of this row level security and username now for the use case let's create some views and rename it first i need reason names and then drag reason here and change it and change it to <coughs> and now rotate the bars and change it to polygon because i don't want to see these abcs and in the second view let's drag reason and then states and then cities and then drag sales quantity profit and total number of orders okay details overview now let's create a dashboard and first resize it i don't want it's i just want 500 and make it to 500 as well now let's drag a text container and enter welcome and then username and then add instruction select reason to view data okay make it to center make it bold and let's change it to arial and increase its size okay and just click on okay now let's drag our reason names here and i don't want to see the title and make it to entire view okay and now just change it here and in the second dashboard let's drag our detail overview and change it to fit okay so for this let's add our login filter and make it to true now go and apply login filter here as well and just make it to true okay now go to dashboard and go to action now we will add our action filter whenever we click on reason names select the dashboard to and details over it will exclude all the values and filter target is our reason okay and just click on okay whenever you select this it will show the data for west whenever you select this it will show the data for east and when you unselect both 
it doesn't show the data okay so this is how you can use user function to implement row level security and i hope this example will clear you the idea how we can use in our real time as well thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos